welcome to whoa, Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey. I had some big plans to go to a park today um, where there is a racetrack, but there was traffic on the freeway and traffic on the old road, and I wasn't going to make it in time, and I didn't make it in time for this either, but that's okay because I'm here now. And don't worry, I'm pulled over on the side um, of the road safe. And it's getting hotter in my car. Amen. Parked in the shade, though, so that's good. And I brought water. Water. Yes. Okay, but I do want to share with you this verse. So think about a racetrack, okay? You got the Olympics starting in a couple of days. Summer Olympics. People, right, one of the things, they run, like, a lot around track. I'm not a big runner. I like to walk. But there are people I know who love to run. And they like to run and run really fast in the Olympics. People run, and they run to do what? To win a prize, right? They want to win that medal. They want to be the gold number one. Okay, but this is what I want to take a look at right now. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 says this. In a race, all the runners run. That's true, right? If you're racing and you're running, you better run fast. Okay, but only one gets the prize, right? There's only one gold. You know, um, you know that, don't you? I'm like, yes, I do know that. So run in a way that you will get the prize. Verse 25, all who take part in the games train hard. Do they get a crown? Uh, they do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. So let me read that for you one more time. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 and 25. In a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. You know that, don't you? So run in a way that will get you the prize. All who take part in the games train hard. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. So what Paul the Apostle there, Paul's the one who wrote 1 Corinthians to the church in Corinth. Corinth, Corinthians, you see that? So what's going on there is he's saying, hey guys, there's a race. And like, and there's a race, there are runners. And the runners run, just like we're going to see at the Olympics, right? They're going to see runners and they're going to be running and they want to win gold. They want to win the prize. But... That prize, well, it doesn't last forever. But the prize Paul's talking about is following Jesus. And that prize does last forever. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for every boy and every girl, mom and dad, friends of HV Kids uh, who are watching this peculiar journey today. Lord God, would you help us to please run our race, run this race of life, live our lives in such a way to give you glory. And Lord, we know that, that there are people who are just living life just to live life, but we want to live life on purpose because you've created us on purpose for a purpose to do your great and mighty work. And so, Lord, we thank you for this today. Help us to, to run our race of life with you in mind and eternally. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And I'm going to turn my car back on and the air conditioner. Praise the Lord because it's getting a little toasty. Have a beautiful day. And remember that every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. And I will see you next week on Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. Actually, next week, I will be on location at Higher Vision Crescenta Valley because we will be having our Higher Vision Crescenta Valley VBS next week. That's right. So if you live close to Crescenta Valley or if you're like, hey, I want to go to another VBS, go to Church. Click on the little button that says VBS and you'll get all the information there. I hope to see you. It's going to be amazing Wednesday to Friday. And there you go. Lots of things going on. Have a great day. Remember, run your race for Jesus. All right. See you later. Bye.